<laughs> Yippee! Totally unmuted. Yeah. You have no idea what's going on, do you? I know. I've been listening to you guys the entire time. Uh huh. I think. Uh, hey, folks! It's uh, Saturday night. You know what that means? It's time for Murder Hobo Inc. Welcome aboard. Uh, as you can tell from these friendly faces, it's time for the campaign. Better or worse. Uh, we're glad to have you. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our stuff, uh, quasi support us. It's down there. If you want to join us on Discord, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want a seat, uh, we got a couple of uh, seats open this coming week. Uh, M Hobo Inc. Either at Twitter or at Gmail. Let us know. Uh, see if you're interested. We'll get you on here. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, Pirate Dog Dice for dice that roll high, which annoys me, but that's okay. And of course, oddfishgames.com. Uh, oddfishgames.com wants to let you know that their first printing uh, is done of their RPG cookbook. Uh, they are considering moving uh, print on demand. So if you can't get a hold of the hard copy, don't worry, you can still get a hold of the electronic copy. Uh, and they'll be working on that. And if you want to print it out, uh, they're working on that. Uh, folks, as you know, campaign uh, keeps the same people uh, over and over again. We'll see how long Kyle stays with us because his internet appears to be jerky. Uh, we'll start with Kyle. Kyle, who are you? Who are you playing? Oh, God. <laughs> I think he's fucking with us on that one. Mature audiences only. Mature <coughs> audiences. Uh, and <laughs> Hi, I'm Kyle. I'm playing Do It Docamel. Uh, stuff. Yeah. Should I just go ahead and switch over to a different camera and come back on in a second with something more reliable? Uh, no. it's, it's up to you. Uh, oh, it's cause... fine now. Yeah, now, okay. now you're we'll, okay. We'll do it later then. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it right in combat because that's the important time. Uh, Obviously. Ernest, you're up next. So my name's Ernest and I'm playing Lucas the Anti-Druid and uh, if you didn't catch last episode, I recommend it. I came crashing through a roof in my bear form. Now I'm looking forward to some more shenanigans this time. And you got stuck in a hole in your bear form too. Jackass. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Uh, next up is Carol. Carol, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi everyone, I'm Carol. I'm a mini painter, sometime DM. I did that backwards. And a long time gamer. And I play Taryn, the Wit Elven Bard, uh, during this campaign. And I'm very excited to see what he has cooked up. He's promised us excitement. So hopefully he delivers. I lied. <laughs> We're doing a political thing today. Last but certainly not least is Chris. Chris, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, my name is Chris. I'm playing Manis, the Eric Hoppe Cleric. Um, still haven't been knocked out in a while. So, <laughs> that's gonna I think Frank's it. gunning for me either way. Cave I also cave paint in, minis. Cave in. Yeah, I also paint minis and uh, stream as well. Uh, to be fair, I'm gunning for all four of you, uh, yeah. folks. If you missed last episode, uh, the the guy, the gang, finally made it into the uh, catacombs below Yaddle, seeking out the second piece of the uh, artifact that they are trying to get a hold of so that they can stop evil because they're heroes. Uh, they ran into a few problems in the old bard shop, and that was cultists from Sensua were in there, uh, as Lucas has already told us. Uh, in bear form, he came crashing through the ceiling uh, after or before uh, Dewey Dacamel was turned into gaseous form and dropped in there as well. Taryn got her foot stuck in the... Uh, door and Manise just kind of hung out with everybody else uh at the end of the fight one of the cult of sensuous uh participants dove into the hole leading into the catacombs and took off quickly followed by dewey docamel lucas opted to go ahead and jump in as well but his winnie the pooh body did not fit the hole and got stuck causing a slight delay he ended up having to drop animal form and he was quickly followed into the hole by Terran and Manise. Uh, that is where we rejoin them. Uh, Dewey, 
Uh, I'm going to go with you second. You are in pursuit of one of the cultists of Sensua. Yeah. Lucas, as you squeeze through and you're now half elven form, uh, you catch the, well, you know what? Give me a perce er, perception check. Perception. 16. You spot the fleeting shadow of Dewey Dacamel running down the only exit from this, for lack of a better term, cellar. Uh, yeah, I'm dashing after him. I'm gone. Terran and Maniz, as you dive into the darkness, uh, you hear a shout above. Uh, do you want to look back up into the hole? It is a voice familiar to you. Um, familiar to whom? All of us? All of you. Is it a female voice? It is a female voice. Oh, it's uh, Cagney Lacey there? Correct. It is Captain Cagney Lacey, guards woman of Yaddle. I think due to what's going on, we're going to keep going. Or at least I'm going to keep going. I can't speak for Manise. He may want to go. And no, I run I'm... pretty fast. So Resisting arrest. Uh-oh. Are you Manise? Are, are, Manise, are you seeing what she has to say or are you taking off? No, no, I'm... I'm going to go to you. I'm not sticking around. Yeah, uh, can everybody see in the dark? No. Yes. Yes. Okay, Manise. <laughs> let me, let me uh, no, no, but hold on. I just, let me check. I'm pretty sure I have torches. What? No, no. You, you, were, you were given lights. the amulet of uh, infravision or whatever, dark vision that we found in that one burning town. And are you sure? Have yeah, to... because what happened was we were going through the burning town. There was a rubble. I cast detect magic. I found the amulet. It's an amulet of dark vision. I gave it to Perpetua. Oh, Perpetua yeah, left it when he, yeah. he left. And then I gave it to you. Yes, you are right. Okay. So no, we all I, didn't. I can see. Yeah. Okay. So, Lucas, as you take off after the fleeting shadow, you come to a four way oh, intersection. Oh, oh, oh. Give me another perception check. Yeah, see. 24. You go the correct way. Taryn, Maniz, give me perception checks. All right. I will say Dewey is screaming like a maniac. Seven which is why he doesn't know he's leaving. 17. 17 works. Uh, uh, what the hell is perception? All right, so that would be 19. Uh, both of you hear Dragon! And a ball of fire erupts behind you in the cellar. You hear the uh, pillars, the wooden pillars creak and crack, and a big plume of dust follows you as you run down the hall. Uh, you catch the fleeing buttocks of Lucas, who has caught the fleeting buttocks of Dewey. Uh, everybody goes left at the intersection, and Dewey, let's go with initiative. Rolling initiative. Fuck yeah. Rolling it at advantage. Oh no. Oh no. Don't do this to me. Uh, 21. You're up first against the Sensua member. Uh, I proceed to run at him and stab him three times. Why do you assume it's a him? Oh, well, it's dark. The robes. I can't make out figures. If it is a woman, she is not voluptuous. And Dewey would notice these things. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Reckless attack. Nat 20 on the first one. Oh. Uh, ooh, not as good. Double nines. Um, uh, 16 on the second one? Nope. No. Wow. Oh, no. And a nat 20 on the third one. What? Huh? Okay. Are you using pirate dog dice? I am not because I have have my dog turd dice yet. Oh, dice oh. so nice, it's proof that you can polish a turd. Did he, did he ever get any? No, we we haven't made those yet. We can't find confetti the right size. Well, do what you did with me. Print it. Ignore Print him. Up. I'm not going to ignore Dewey. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, brain fart. Um, uh, total of fifteen between the two. That's it. Yeah, I'm not raging. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but you are reckless, correct? Uh, uh, 
Uh, but I am reckless, yes. So I will probably pay for this. You are going to pay for it in spades as the female uh, turns around and says, I've had enough of your meddling. You your and ass your is dog. flat. Uh, let's see. Kids. Three attacks. So at advantage, a one and a four. <laughs> Pirate dog. A one and 13. Ooh, I'm glad so. you did. We'll be switching those out. Oh no, roll them again. Roll them again. Oh, there it is. Uh, 23. That <laughs> will hit. She swings a mean blade. Seven plus seven plus two. Uh, 16 damage as she puts the walloping on you. Uh, Lucas, Taryn, Maniz, go ahead and give me initiative, please. 18. Okay. 18. Oh, 19. Sorry. Oh, we, awful. we leveled up. We uh, leveled up? Well, we're level eight now, right? Yeah. That happened a while ago. Oh, okay. No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Uh, seven, the grand total is seven. Yeah, that ain't, uh, ain't going to work. Uh, Dewey, you're up. All right. Uh, you guys are in a wide area. There are like depressions inside this stone tunnel uh it looks funerary in design as you kind of catch it out of your peripheral vision since you're all focused on this female sensual member go ahead Dewey. uh i am going to what do i usually fight with i never remember a rock a hammer. screwdriver <laughs> a rock hammer and a screwdriver is what it is uh so i will uh uh, uh hook the hammer on her leg so um, I'm going to knock her prone. So I need either an athletics or acrobatics, dex or strength. But if you can't beat a 28, you're on your ass flat. Oh, I can't beat a 28. Okay. You're prone then. And we'll continue the onslaught. Uh, 26 to hit and a 24 to hit. Yep, both those hit. Okay, and now we'll add that sneak attack dice. Okay, and that's uh, 11 this time. And that was reckless. I apologize, I didn't say that. Gotcha. Just, just uh, 19 is up next. Lucas. Uh, do I get advantage since she's prone? Yes. Cool, I throw fire at her. And that is a 2 2 2 2 Modify 20 to hit. That hits. Several coffins are now on fire down here. <laughs> Perfect. Because that is 12 fire damage. Okay. And 18. Maniz. I will... Cast Sacred Flame. Uh, dex 13. <coughs> uh, 15 plus no, that, that, two, that, that. 17. So as a bonus action, I will cast Shield of Faith on myself. Uh, as you pepper the tunnel with blue flame, you notice she rolls, grabs an amulet, and Taryn, she ain't there anymore. Hmm. It's that, so it's my go. Yep. Uh, I, I didn't hear any footsteps leaving or anything like that, did I? She was on her ass. Uh. But it was a bony ass, so you know you would have heard clack, clack, clack on the stone floor. Okay because I have something I might be able to do. Sister yeah. Agnes does not have a bony ass. <laughs> Fireball. Oh, uh, no, I'm Fireball. Gonna, I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. Ooh. I'm going to put it right in front of Dewey. It's 20... It's a 20-foot cube. So be right... I guess... I don't know, whichever way the hallway goes or whatever, but 20 feet. Kyle, you're up. Uh, or Dewey, you're up. Uh, the fairy fire 
does That's not good. ignite. Uh, it does offer enough light that you notice that the tunnel goes down about 15 feet and hangs a hard left. Uh, along the way, there are smoldering coffins uh, and the smoke is starting to fill the top layer of the tunnel. Got to clear out those spider webs. How tall is the tunnel? Like, do we have to pretty much worry about smoke pretty? Sorry, do they have to worry about smoke coming down pretty quick or no? Seven feet tall. Seven uh, feet tall. Th this appears to be chiseled out of the uh, rock base of the city. But you can tell that there are urns, uh, niches, some coffins, definitely funerary, in, uh, funerary types. You are definitely in the catacombs. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to go work and start putting out fires. Okay. Uh, Lucas. Um. Yeah. Let's see. So this enemy just disappeared. Mm -hmm. No perception of them. Okay. Uh, I guess I will, I don't know. Why aren't we charging down the tunnel? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, Dewey's just like, oh, oh God, the people, the bird are burning. They're Lucas. records. Lucas, yeah. you do you. Yeah, I'm charging down this tunnel. Fuck that. All right. Uh, as you zip around the corner, you find uh, more coffins stacked, uh, one at the very end of the tunnel. Moving to my knees. Um, disappears. He ran off. We still don't see Dewey. Uh, Karen is near me, I assume, right? Mm -hmm. I, no, I think we do see Dewey. Yeah, you're in the yeah, same room. Okay. Yeah, okay. Dewey, okay. Dewey's okay. putting out fires in the tunnel. Lucas is the one you don't see because he <laughs> ran down and hung left. She's trying to pursue the, the central person because I don't think she came. I will. What would Minis do in this situation? I think Minis would try to help Dewey put out the fires. So I will do that. Karen, you're up. All right. I'm going to say it to her. I know. I've, I'd love to put out the fires too. But you know what? I think Lucas might have the right decision here because if we. I don't think she went back by us. I think she's invisible. And some people answer to a higher calling. I mean, I could have I could have helped really fast put out those fires. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> but I go, but I'm going, but I'm going to go after Lucas because I think that is more important that we make sure that that item is safe. What Rather item? The rod of catching. The rod oh, of catching. Okay, gotcha. Uh, <laughs> I Lucas assume. and Karen, give me investigation checks. Lucas and me? Yep. Oh, yeah, because I run up to him. Uh, 13, uh, 16? 14. Uh, <laughs> you guys notice a lot of coffins are down here, uh, some with headstones, some with not. Taryn had the higher roll. She finds one that says, here lies Alvin Knackle, a wise man he was. We put him in the wall and covered him in spackle because that's what we does. <laughs> wow. Well, we found Al we just found Alvin Knackle. Oh, you told me that this? Yeah. Um, ooh. You. Uh, yeah. is, the, is the headstone mobile? Can you move the headstone? You yeah. are I it's flip the it around. <laughs> I don't want Dewey to freak out. <laughs> While this is going on, then I kind of, is there a way to look <sighs> in the coffin? Sure. What you're going to have to, you're going to have to pry it open. So give me a strength check. Oh Lord. That's going to be funny. Well, actually I'm... hang on before you do that. Uh, top oh. of the order, Kyle, uh, you and Manise have managed to put out the fires <laughs> Uh, it's smoky in there. Neither one of you have asthma, so you should be okay. What would you like to do next? Now we continue down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Catch me an act of, of us fucking with Alvin's. <laughs> uh, Kai or Dewey Lucas D12 off. Oh. 
Oh, by the way, remember, I'm trying to open it, and I think I made it with a uh, six, a, uh, 17. Uh, Dewey, as you run around the corner, you see Lucas moving a headstone uh, <laughs> while Taryn is fiddling with the coffin. Uh, Lucas, you are second. What do you want to do? Do I complete turning around the headstone? You do indeed. Um, I shout at Dewey, she's not here! And then I keep charging down the is there any further exit in this room? Nope, that is the end of the tunnel. Um, Shit. She must have teleported. This is a dead end, Dewey. Manise, uh, you were on the corner. You notice that Taryn is working on opening a coffin and Lucas is casually fucking around with a headstone. Uh, yeah, I'm acting guilty as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to open a casket. Yep. Because there is nothing in the catacombs that will harm you. Absolutely nothing. No wraiths, specters, liches, none of that shit. Well, we've well, got a cleric in fire. <clears throat> well, never mind. Uh, yeah, I'll just kind of sit back and see what's going on. <laughs> There's too much shadiness, too much shadiness to not. That's a lot of shady shit. Give me a perception yeah. check, Manise, since you're at the back of the group. Oh, Lord. What the hell did I do? 13. You, you think you hear a whistle, but you aren't quite sure because of the weird echo. Uh, Taryn, your 16 roll was enough to pry open the wood, uh, much to the dismay of uh, Dewey Docamel. Uh, I don't know who's in there yet. Well, she's no. obviously going to uh, pillage a corpse. No. Yeah, why are you defiling yeah, a corpse, all... Taryn? Wait, what the wait, hell wait, is wait. wrong with you, Taryn? Hey, Frank, Frank, Frank. Did the person run into the coffin? Stop. Here's what I, I would like to get my action up first, then react. So all I'm doing is this, and that's it. it it's standing looking. up. All right, then I do this, and I look in, and that's it. I'm not <laughs> defiling. I'm not trying to wait. I just want to see if there's a corpse in there. By the way, Alvin Knackle's a gnome, so you're bending way over oh, to yeah. do this. <laughs> uh, yes, there is a corpse in there. Okay, so all right, good. I literally all I did was look. Dewey, uh, she's peeping into a apparently child's <laughs> coffin. Uh, Lucas is kind of standing in front of a headstone. Shady as fuck. Uh, you're up. Uh, actually, uh, before you do that, uh, Dewey, Lucas, and Taryn, go ahead and give me perception checks. Yeah, and by the way, I'm not going to... At least I want to confirm the body in there. Um, perception? Yep. Yeah, 50. Lucas? Uh, 23. Uh, you're pretty sure you hear some kind of whistle or bell. Taryn, uh, you think you hear a whistle or bell, but it could just be the ringing in your ears uh, because the ground is starting to shake violently and dust is falling from the ceiling. Something above ground is tumultuous at best. Uh, Dewey, we're with you. Uh, she's taking a sneaky peek. Lucas is shady as fuck. Manise is behind you. What would you like to do? I thought we were chasing after somebody. What are you guys doing? Sorry, Taryn's next to Not the better of her. Yeah, we're at a dead. Yeah, we're at a dead end. Okay, so there's a secret tunnel through that way, then, right? Through the coffin, hidden I, tunnel. I, I back up. I do not want to be in the middle of this. I go. I that's I peek seed, and there's nothing in there but a corpse. Right. You didn't disturb the body, did you? What? I didn't. You didn't watch. disturb the body, did you? No. No. You saw. I only did this. I literally only did that, and that's it. I would. being really fucking shady. <laughs> yeah. No. Insight check, Kyle or Dewey. <sighs> you want? You can if you want. Oh, both of you. You're I'm both gonna... being shady as fuck. Gonna... All right, let me roll a deception. My deception, fifteen. Beat a fifteen on an insight, and you figure out I'm being shady as fuck. Uh, but I rolled a 15 and an 8, 23 on deception. Yeah. <laughs> Dewey, who this are you going to be guys. suspicious of? Two. Okay, uh, we got to get going then, guys. Stop screwing around. You got it. Well, it's true. I just, you know, 
I'm afraid that maybe there might be something that's crawled out of one of these caskets. Also, I check all the caskets. Let, let's right. go, Dewey. I don't think a small peak like that would actually activate an undead. What do you think, Manise? Do you have to really open up a coffin before you? Wow, well, yeah, comes I would up? assume. I don't yeah, think I'm the, like the expert of experts on on all. But wait, 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 wait. I say wait. we burn all the corpses just to be safe. No, we no. can't burn corpses. What's that? Not you? That. I mean, they're catapulting them over the wall over there. I think a little fire isn't that bad compared to that. No. It's a catacombs. They are laid to rest. Okay. Either way, we're wasting time here. We should probably. And the ground is thundering, and there is a lot of dust. We may. I mean, we may have to open. I up mean, ask it to find the damn item. I do have there. enemy dead. I'm just saying. Hey, hey Frank. Oh, bastard. Can and I do an investigation <laughs> of the room to see if there is? We can a, find out what happened. <laughs> a way out. Sure. Go ahead and do an investigation, Taryn. What do you want to do? The question I have was, when I had it open, did I see just the body, or was there anything on top of it, like a bag or anything like that? You said sneaky peek, so all you saw was a body. Okay, that is that is fair. I just wanted to clarify if I might have caught something else. But there was another tunnel, right? Yeah, there huh. were three tunnels. You okay. came to a four-way intersection. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm so 23. The others There's first. nothing else in this room. Uh, Lucas beat a 23 to hide the headstone from Dewey. Yeah, but he didn't find a door or anything, another exit, right? Um, 17. I fail. Dude, you, you, you find a headstone that reads Knackle. You want to read it? Shove Lucas out of the way and turn the thing. I already said I backed up. <laughs> Like, okay, I'm giving you an evil look like I would have shoved you if you'd been standing over here. It, it says, here lies Alvin Knackle, a wise man he was. We put him in the wall and covered him in spackle because that's what we does. That's just not right. So does it connect to the one that Taryn opened up? You are not certain which coffin this goes to. <laughs> With the Lucas 23 investigation? Lucas, be like, here's the scratch marks on the floor. Well, Lucas Dewey, twisted and moved it. <laughs> Dewey, the, the jig is up. Taryn was defiling Alvin's corpse. No, I wasn't. Stop being a use turn the headstone so that... I didn't want Dewey to freak out, but the jig is up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's basically <laughs> the same. I want to make sure he was actually in there. Because if he's not, I wanted to give you a heads up. Yeah! I, I cast Detect Magic. While we're at it, just while we're waiting. Sure. <clears throat> There's uh, a blue light in a coffin behind you. Ooh. While they're busy with that, I'm going to go explore this coffin. Uh, Maniz will see you, but uh, Dewey and Taryn will not. Uh, Maniz, you're pretty sure you're hearing whistling. <laughs> and not the good kind. What do you mean by not the good kind? Can they you ain't just... guards. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, I'll let them know about the whistling. Huh? That, that I hear that, and maybe we should go. Yeah. We'll go back to the uh, order that takes us to Dewey. Yeah, I shoved Taryn out of the way. That's fair. What the hell are you doing? Lucas? I told I, you. I, I'm opening up this casket that has the magic item. Fair enough. Maniz? I'll go see what Lucas is doing. Uh, defiling a corpse. Uh, Taryn. <laughs> I told you what I was doing, and that was the truth. I wanted to make sure there was actually a corpse in there and that there was no hope. He's in there. Back to Kyle. Sorry. <laughs> Sucks. Rage, start killing party members. Again, the, the dust is hammering down a lot here. Uh, what are you doing, Dewey? I'm going to turn around and I'm just taking in the coffin at this point. And Give me an investigation. It's going to be a slow process. Yep. Uh, that is a 25. Are you opening it up? I will. I will open it up. Uh, the but it'll probably be a little while. Okay, the desiccated corpse uh, doesn't look like Alvin Knackle, but I mean, you know, 
he's clearly been dead for at least a year. Uh, with your roll, you notice an ivory scroll tube between the legs. Ooh. Uh, that brings really, us to Frank? <laughs> so, it, I almost made it uh, mahogany. So, oh, okay. Because <laughs> he would have had wood between his legs. Uh, <laughs> Luke, Luke, Lucas, you open it up, and it appears to be a uh, desiccated corpse dressed in frilly material. Uh, the blue item is coming from a stone set in a neck piece. Oh, I grab that neck piece. Manise, you see it. You see him grab the neck piece. You don't see the blue light. You want to do anything since he's robbing corpses now? Yeah. It's give par me, for the course for Lucas. Give me a perception check, Manise. Uh, 18. Uh, you hear footsteps now, running footsteps coming from the tunnel behind you. Uh, Taryn, uh, after watching a reverent Dewey Docamel pause uh, and open it up, you will also see that uh, there's ivory between uh, Knackle's legs. I'm not going to have anything. I'm not going to touch anything on this. This is all up to Dewey. Uh, Ooh, you're top of the order then. Uh, well, well, wait, question. Do I hear the running footsteps at us? Nope, because Maniz and Lucas are behind you. Okay. Uh, Dewey? Uh, if we're going in like six seconds rounds, Dewey hasn't even opened up the case in this set of rounds. Oh, so I'm I just going to say, yeah, it's just dust falling down, moving slowly. To... Oh my God, Alvin, what happened to you? I and you can skip me for a few rounds because it's very slow. Okay, go ahead, Taryn. Yeah, I would help you actually open that. So. Oh, you would lose a finger. <laughs> Why? Because you fucking desecrated the coffin. I know. All I, did. <laughs> hey, all I, did I just take a picky. <laughs> Nothing's here. That was Lucas. That was Lucas that pointed out nothing was here. She pointed out there was still a corpse in there. Uh, over to Lucas. Uh, go ahead and grab the item. It appears to be a stone inset, a silver neck piece. Uh, casual observance, maybe 15, 20 gold pieces for the thing, but clearly there's a blue light coming off the stone, so... I put bad. it on. Oh, okay. That's fair enough. It's beautiful, isn't it? Sure, it's gorgeous. Uh, Maniz, uh, Lucas is now in cross-dresser mode. What would you like to do? I'm going to investigate where the footprints are coming from. As you look around the corner, you can see three figures dressed in uh, clothing indicated uh, that the cult of Sensua has arrived. We don't like that, if I recall. No. Correct. Correct. Uh, the um, one in the back is a tall female with a bony ass, according to Dewey Dacamel. You can hear it clink. It is. <laughs> hear it whistling. Uh, that'll be <laughs> a 14 to hit. Uh, that'll hit two of them, but not the uh, boss lady. And their saving throws, if they get one, are 19, 19, and 17. Uh, it's just one creature. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you can get the front uh, man. Okay. So <coughs> that'll be 17 radiant damage. Did you say lightning bolt? Guiding. Oh, okay. That, that's what had me through. Uh, you said 17? 17. Good. Oh, gotcha. Uh, are you going to yell out to anybody? Guys, they're here. <laughs> they're here. Uh, that brings us to Taryn. Taryn, uh, straight up D20 roll. Let's make sure you aren't uh, laughing at Dewey's problem. At what? Dewey's problem. I don't know, nine. Oh, uh, yeah, you can hear uh, Manise yell and spin around. We have company. Do we want to do this later? Who is ignoring you at this point? 
I knew he would. Uh, what do you want to do, Taryn? Well, then I'm going to be like, fuck it, and I'm going to go up, and I'm going to join my knees. Fair enough. Uh, Dewey, you ponder. Lucas, uh, give me a straight-up D20 roll. All right. 14. Company? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, my. You are aware that there is company as well. Uh, okay. Um, do I, let's see, there's three of them, right? Two in the front, then the one leader in the back. You'll, you'll have to peek around to see, but yes, that is the makeup. Oh, cool. And I probably realized they're enemies because who else hangs out in a catacomb? Maniz is already shot at him, so. Oh, well, that makes this easy. Um, I'm going to throw fire at the one that looks injured from Maniz. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. That is a 15 to hit. That hits. Oh, that was nice. Uh, let's see. 2d8. And 13 fire damage. Nicely done. Uh, Maniz? It will. I got something to do. So much heal. I will just fire my crossbow. Okay. Same one you hit before or the different one? Same one, yeah. Same one. Okay. So that'll be a 18. <laughs> that hits. Five piercing damage. Okay, still alive. Uh, it's their turn to kick some ass. <clears throat> the uh, one in the back is going to cast a spell. Um... That's all better. Uh, the other two are going to attack. Uh, one, two, Lucas, three, four, Terran, five, six, Maniz. First one attacks, three, Terran. Second one attacks. Five, Maniz. Maniz, the one that you've been hitting, is the one that is attacking you. They get just one attack because they aren't going to fuck with spells. Uh, 12 plus 2 is 14, Maniz. Miss? Yes. Taryn, 9 plus 2 is 11. I'm assuming that's a miss. Yeah. Taryn, you're up. <clears throat> uh, uh... So they had to run by Lucas. Shouldn't he have been able to attack one of them when they left his threatened square? No, um, that, that you guys, you and Maniz moved up. Oh, or, so you, you and Lucas moved up to no. where Maniz was. Oh, you, so you guys uh, are, are we face in a wide, off. So are we in a wide enough spot to have a line? Mm -hmm. a three up and three up? Mm -hmm. so yeah. Are we in melee distance? You are now. I would well, I, I, Oh. I should have said I would have been behind Lucas, but whatever. Um, I, I take, well, take, take an attack of opportunity because I'm taking a five-foot step back. I'm not going to be in melee. 17 plus 219. Swings with a mace. Three plus just three. All right, that's fine. Uh, and they're going to stick on you, so that's still going to be melee, FYI. Uh, uh, do, Dewey! I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done. I haven't even gotten my action yet. Oh, okay, go ahead. Cast Bane. Okay. Uh, charisma check of 16. All of them? Yep. There's three targets, right? Yep. Okay, 16. Okay. Gotcha. Is that it? Uh, bonus action. I'm going to give Lucas uh, inspiration. Do we? Get him. Do you need to know what the die is, by the way? It's a D8, isn't it? Uh, I believe you're right. Uh, you ready to open it up? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you see it's a desiccated corpse, and there's an ivory scroll tube between the legs. 
is there a holy symbol to like the teeth on there as well? Anything to identify it more so? But there is a sigil, a wax seal on the uh, scroll tube indicative that it would be a member of your order. Okay. I will grab it and we'll assume that that's the turn for the moment. Uh, Lucas, you're up. Shit's getting real. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize I was in <laughs> melee when I threw fire. Otherwise, I think I would have had disadvantage. They, uh, they, it wasn't melee until they moved up on you. Oh, okay. Um, shit. All my, my favorite animal shapes are huge. Uh, this is a big tunnel. I mean, you're you can, three by three. Yeah. You could then up. make it a three by three to a two three by, by two. two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, now I guess I, I do have a sword, a couple swords to attack with. All right. I'm going to attack with my sword. Okay. And that was a 26 to hit. Holy Are you going God. after the, uh, bony ass <laughs> chick or the two guys? Uh, the one that was in front of me, the, the one I hit last time, I think that was a guy. Yep. Okay. So damage. 13. Uh, that's enough to knock him down. Nice. Uh, Maniz. I will. Let's go with this. Let's go with Sacred Flame again. So dex 13. Not 20. Wah, wah. Uh, one down, one up. Okay, uh, well, with. Sorry, with my sure because I have a bonus, I'll do spiritual weapon. So I cast that. Great, blah 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 blah. You just get to cast it and use it next round, don't you? Yes, because it's as a bonus action. Uh, the dude three Terran, <laughs> the bony ass six Manese. Uh, and she's a handful. Uh, Bane is what? 1d4 off? 1d4 off. Uh, 4 minus 3 plus 2. So that's not even going to remotely come close. Uh, I mean, bony oh, ass didn't... I could have I could have attacked. Yeah. I just read it. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bony ass made her save. Wow, those are shit rolls. Uh, 14, 17, 18. Against two, what? Manise. 18 is tied, but I was using my shield of faith, so my armor is... Well, how long has it been? One round. So, okay, a minute. Oh, you Good mean first. from the, the initial fight? Yeah. Yeah, probably six rounds. Should still be up. Okay. Clangs off your shield of faith. Taryn, you're up. Uh, which one Which one was the one that cast what I think is the heel? The lady. The lady. Oh, she's still up, right? Oh, yeah. She's fine. Oh, what do I want to do? <sighs> the other one is on Lucas. I got no one on me right now? Not currently. All right, then I am going to... Actually, uh, I'm, so, I, I'm sorry. You do have the one on you because it attacked you. So you have the male. Manise has the female. Okay, so now if I step back again, it can attack. But by that logic, I should now be at least... Let's see. I'm five foot behind, I was five foot behind Manise and them because I stepped back. It'll be 10 foot. I'm trying to think if they <laughs> move again, they actually are going to get attacked because they're gonna, at one point... I'm going to get far enough back so they're going to have to move, to move out of someone's threatened range. Uh, go ahead and make an attack of opportunity. I'm going to back up. And I think I'm going to just shoot him. I'll draw as I move. Seven. Miss. <clears throat> All right. I'll use my light crossbow since I know this will actually work against these and try to shoot him. Uh, and I will probably succeed with a 23. Yep. 
So let's see. I have magical crossbow boats. I wonder if that actually. Uh, wonder if that actually changes the two hits. Uh, oh, then I probably don't have it figured in. Of the tickle, I don't think I've figured in. So it's one d eight plus five. Uh, so that is uh, what the hell is that? Twelve points of damage. Phew! As a bonus, uh, bon nah, I'm not going to use a bonus action. I don't think. Let's see. Do I have anything? Nah, I'm not going to use a bonus action. I don't think anybody's been particularly damaged, so, uh, so I'm not worried about it yet. Dewey, you're up. Uh, you have in hand a scroll tube. Behind you, you hear fighting and bleeding. My three says I don't hear jack shit. You are sobbing. <laughs> the tears are weeping off your face. Lucas, you're up. Woo! You got All the right. lady bashing on my knees. Uh, you got the dude bashing on Taryn. Yeah. I'll start opening up that scroll, by the Are way. Are they more than five feet away? Uh, probably not. Oh. Well, okay, Terrans well, might be. All right. Trying, no, then it can't be more than five feet or somebody would have got an attack of opportunity. They've got to be five feet away. If I think if we move another five, I think if he moves another five feet, someone's going to get to hit him. You get to decide who. Your I, choice, Lucas. Okay. Well, I want to throw fire at Terrence. Miss, no. miss, miss, miss. <laughs> and that is a 17 to hit? That hits. Okay. Yeah. And that is seven fire damage. Not too much. Gotcha. Minis? I will go with... Uh, my crossbow. You know she's Which... on top of you, right? Oh, okay. Well, then dagger, dagger right in the stomach. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, so that'll be a nat 20 and a nat 1. <laughs> wow. Uh, no one's close, so you'll lose one of the daggers. <laughs> uh, you'll so nat 20. Do I reroll the nat uh, no, you reroll the damage and then add your modifiers. Alright. So damage, damage, modifiers. Six damage piercing. And then my uh, spiritual weapon, which is a drumstick, will attack it. That'll be uh, Hey Colonel. Yeah. It'll be 17 to hit. Uh, yes, that is exactly what you need. And that'll be six. Uh, I think it's budget. For six something. It's, uh, I don't know. It's got some. Anyways, we'll say bludgeoning. Okay. Uh, on Terran. Shit roll again, man. Uh, on my knees. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> Two fives and a 13. 13 goes up to 20. <coughs> God, that is, that's just unbelievably bad rolls. Uh, I assume the dirty 20 gets you, though. Yeah. Oh, oh my knees, right? Yep. God, that's just horrible. Uh, 12 hit points of damage. Long Jeez. sword slashing. Yeah, that's with your shit roll, dude. You guys are in deep crap. Uh, top of the order. Dewey, <laughs> as you open up the uh, scroll case, uh, you notice that it appears to be notes. Give me a straight up D20 to see if the tears affect your ability to see. Hey, uh, Mr. DM, did you roll the Bane dice against that? No, she passed her Bane. Passed it. Oh, oh, it's right. It's her. It's the <laughs> guy that failed his bane. Right, right. That twenty. Uh, actually, you notice that it says "rod of catching" at the top. Ooh. We had to open that fucking thing. 
ironic. Actually, you didn't have to. You guys could have wandered around the catacombs for the fucking rest of the career until they <laughs> collapsed on you. Uh, Dewey, it appears as though you found some kind of missive detailing the information on the rod of catching. Uh, I'll explain more here in a minute. Lucas, uh, lady on my knees. Dude looks like a lady on Terran. <clears throat> uh, well, I know the lady is probably worse so after seeing that last attack so i'm gonna attack that um cool you need to get your meat shield's head out of his ass uh, it's fine i'll let him grieve uh i don't want him to be angry at me later because yeah. i didn't fuck with that tombstone uh 26 to hit <laughs> that hits <clears throat> and 13 damage with my magic sword nicely done um at ease Lucas has moved in to help you. Yay. Behind you, you still hear <laughs> <laughs> laughing or crying. I can't crying. tell. He's crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, Elvin. He <laughs> sucked. What do you want to do, Minis? <laughs> uh, I'll still get Dagger. Okay. I only have the one, though. You, you want to go pick up the other one? Walk past her and pick it up? No, no, no. Just. The one I have, dagger. I can do two, so it's two strikes either which way. Yep. Uh, one is a eleven, so that definitely does not hit. And the other one is a seventeen. Seventeen does hit. Oh yay! Let's see, big damage, big damage. Four piercing damage, and then my chicken wing of doom. Ha! We'll do a. 24 to hit. That Extra is. crispy. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm surprised it's not uh, a duck. That'll be six. Legendary. Very nice. Uh, let's see if I can actually hit Terran this time. Jesus Christ. A seven minus four plus two. Uh, <laughs> D4s, apparently. Let's see. Uh, odd Lucas, even Manise. First attack. Even, even, even. Even? Yes. Even? Yes. Wow. Even. Yes. It's oh, Manise, wow. man. Wow. I am protected by God, unlike the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> A three and two sevens. So ten and two fourteens. No, I'm, not I'm fucking believable. You know what? <laughs> Next round, ah, ah. We're, we're going with a pirate dog, bloody die. Uh, hey. Top of the order, or I'm sorry, bottom of the order, Taryn. I was going to say, hey, if Terry's <coughs> watching, thank you for giving him the cursed dice, if they are the pirate dog dice. Uh, um, That's a right. 19 on the roll. What? That's a 14 on a roll. For what? That's a 17. I'm testing the die. Oh, you're, I you're up. I yeah, know. it rolls well when you test it, but when you roll it in reality, that's when it fucks you over. It's and that's so why we pay carry the good money. <laughs> we'll uh, see. Right. <clears throat> Pretty sure. Wait, I still got a guy in me, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So at this point, if he hasn't, if he isn't, hasn't left somebody in the threatened zone yet, he will have to do it to, to get me. So this, I'm going to go ahead and take an attack of opportunity. I'm taking a five foot step back. He probably should have already been able to take that. I'm going to shoot That's him. That's a nat 20. And minus two plus two. So nat 20. It's a dirty 20. Dirty ban 20. Ban or cancel crit. Six damage <clears throat> as he wallops you in the face. I went slightly. I'm actually not that bad. Um, all right. So I'm going to try to shoot him uh, uh, with a 23 again. Or 24. Uh, for another 12 points of damage. Uh, question, though, how bad are people that Manisa? Oh, did, you didn't get damaged. You're out of touch hit. range of everybody, uh, <laughs> except for Dewey. I don't need to be in touch range of anybody with healing word. 
So, and that's a bonus action. I can't actually heal as anything else other than that. How many points are you guys down? Do you feel like you need any healing? Do you look bad? If not, otherwise. Know, I'll be, I, I can heal myself. I haven't been hit yet. All right, then I'm gonna, right, then I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give um, the niece, and I'm gonna give you a D8 of inspiration. Don't forget to use it, guys. I already used mine in one okay. of my attacks. <laughs> Dewey, you're up. Uh, the missive <laughs> seems to detail the fact that uh, there is a tunnel uh, leading out into the bay where the item uh, has been kept safe from prying eyes. Uh, as you turn over the sheet, there's nothing on the back and there seems to be a few pages missing. Okay. We will put the missive <clears throat> back into the tube and then put the rod of catching and the missive away in a bag. There, there's no rod of catching. Oh, there is no rod of catching. No, I thought you said there was. Old it, rod it, of it's catching. rod uh, of catching, and it goes into flowery detail that the rod of catching is somewhere out in the bay in a tunnel. It, somewhere it's a out in the bay in a tunnel. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'll put the Musa back into the scroll and closing uh, uh, Alvin's uh, uh, casket because I don't want to see, let him see what happens next. And I will turn in rage. <coughs> Fair enough. Lucas, you're up. Woo! Uh, I'm going to throw fire at this lady. There's a 14 hit. I miss him. Hit some caskets behind her, maybe. More caskets on fire. Fire! <clears throat> Maniz, with your inspiration, you're up. I will. Do I still have the one on top of me? No, right? The lady? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. She just can't hit you for shit. But when she does, it hurts. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna pull out my short sword and go stabby stab. Uh... That'll be 17 is a magic number for her. So I'll use my inspiration. <laughs> That'll be a 18. That is. Inspiration gone. And five piercing damage. And then I will use my chicken wing. That's a nat 20. Nice. <laughs> Seven bludgeon. Very nice. Uh, on Taryn. All right, but if he had to move to get to me, he's leaving somebody's threatened square. They're busy with uh, the other guys. So, uh, Nat 20 minus three plus two, 19. You get an of opportunity no matter what it's a reaction i will worry about that in a minute uh five hit points of damage uh odd even even Maniz. uh <laughs> do you want to try and attack the guy moving from behind you uh yes yes i will go ahead <sighs> actually i gotta make a check uh, and that's a swing and a miss with a three. There you go. Uh, oh. First attack, odd, even. Two, even. <laughs> three, Lucas oh. is up. Three, Lucas is up. <laughs> you finally became a threat, Lucas. So, Maniz, 19. <laughs> yeah, that hits, that hits, yeah. Uh, plus seven. Uh, oh, Lucas. Plus sevens. All right. Yeah, and, and it's amazing that I rolled so shitty. Well, and that continues a seven and a five. So Lucas is avoided. Yes, God loves me still. 
<laughs> uh, four, four, and six. So 14 more damage to you, Maniz, and we are at the top of the order with a raging Cajun. All right. I will destroy the henchmen next to Terran, utterly and effectively, recklessly attacking. I have no doubt you will. 23 to hit. Natural 20 on the second one, <coughs> and 21 to hit on the third one. How much damage? Uh, well, let's roll it up, guys. Uh, 8, 7, uh, 15 on the first one. Dead. All right. Well, shit. Uh, <laughs> continue beating the corpse. Uh, <coughs> Lucas. <coughs> So it's just the lady, right? Just the lady. All right. Uh, 30 more damage to the corpse. He's effectively dead. Nat 20. Nice. What, what, what's our rule? <coughs> uh, damage, damage, modifier. Double the dice. Ah. Roll your damage. Roll your damage again. Add your modifiers. Got it. Okay. So first damage attack. Seven. Second damage attack, 10. So 17 fire, and that's it. No modifier? Oh, um, I guess it's a not on Not on that spell. Yeah. Please. Awesome job, though. My knees. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um... This fight has taken way longer than I thought it would. Sorry. Well, yeah, that's because our. Go biggest... with Sacred Flame. Give me a Dex 13 check. Probably going to pass, but whatever. Uh, not this time. That's a five. <coughs> uh, where's. Oh, she's a one there for a second. Lucas, uh, when I attack this time, I'm using the red dot. So that's going to be 12 radiant damage, and then my chicken wing attack. So that's going to be 18 on the chicken <sighs> wing attack. So that hits, I gather. Mm -hmm. And. That'll be, that'll be eight bludgeoning from the chicken. Fair enough. Uh, <clears throat> odd even. Six, two, two. Yeah, <laughs> this is the best fight. All, all three on the red. I love how our healer is the pincushion. Uh, Eleven plus seven is eighteen. That ties, so yeah, that hits. Uh, Thirteen plus seven is dirty twenty. Yeah, that hits. Seventeen plus seven is twenty-four. That definitely hits. Well, I guess I shouldn't have attacked. I figured we'd, we would have taken her down instead of healing. You suffer the consequences. All right, all right. You're about to get it shoved up your ass. Is it's you're... okay, Maniz. I have cure wounds. We don't need you as a healer. <laughs> I mean, I can heal you. <laughs> I can't use Revivify on myself. <laughs> Christ, that one's going to hurt. How many hit points do you have left, Maniz? 17. Uh, no, you, no, you don't. Uh, that's uh, 24 plus 9. That's 33 damage as she carves him like a turkey. Uh, Raging, or I'm sorry, Terran's up. Hey, Minnie's down. Burn. Minnie's down. I'm going to run Minnie's and I'm going to burn a third level uh, curing. What the hell is it called? <laughs> uh, cure wounds into him. Oh, uh, question! No, would cure wounds work? Because I'm knocked out, though. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. You're right. I'm not you dead. dead. Yeah. You're making death saves. You're not dead. You're right. That's 19 plus. I mean, you're not dead, assuming that your full hit points is more than 32. 19, 24 points. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Okay. How many more? 24. <clears throat> 24. Uh, you're up, raging Cajun. All right, let's kill the bony bitch. Uh, 21. Hit. Natural 20. What the fuck die are you using? 
That's like so your I, third or fourth one. I know. It's, well, to be fair, I am rolling advantage. That ups it. This is uh, the. That's true. Uh, but he got all the luck from you and putting it to him. That's <laughs> Yeah, I should have kicked the shit out of you guys without the meat shield. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So first one is seven, seven, fourteen. Second one, which is doubled, which gets the sneak attack, is uh, five, six, eleven, seven, uh, eighteen, and the final one. Uh, six. Murder. Lucky, radiant piercing. If any Lucas, of it... you're up. Man, she has a lot of HP. She has a shitload of HP. Um. <laughs> all right. But she also healed herself at one point. <clears throat> so I assume a 13 doesn't hit. Nope. More fire in the caskets. <laughs> Manise, you're up. I will. Am I? I'm close enough to touch. Am I correct? Oh yeah. I mean, she's kicking the shit out of you. She's using <laughs> charcuterie <laughs> methods on your ass. <laughs> and I'm just like Let's standing see. there, like. <laughs> Apparently, her name is Zoro because she just fucking. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. All right. So I'm casting inflict wounds. Okay. Got a hitter. That is. A 23 to hit. That uh, uh, so that is a lot of damage coming her way. All right. This is awesome. Six, six D10s worth of damage. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh you want me God. to roll them for you? No, no. Nine, eighteen. <laughs> there'll, be, there'll be six points of damage done the way you've been rolling. <laughs> Let's see how bad it would be. It's 37 no, I... necrotic damage. Oh, yeah, that puts her down. Yeah. I okay. would have done. <coughs> I would have done 28. <laughs> that puts her down. Yeah. Uh, I loot the corpse because I'm angry. Does she still have that, mag uh, that magic amulet that let her teleport away? You mean the thing that she grabbed? Yeah. Yeah, there, she's got a necklace on. Take it, Manise. It'll let you flee from danger. You need it the most. Yeah. No, uh, give, me a, give me a religion <laughs> check. A religion check? I'm good Oh, at maybe you can't use oh, it. Oh, wait, that's you the wrong die. Okay, give it to me. You're already wearing an amulet. I can wear two. Uh, it was 15. So, uh, it's a cult of sensual holy symbol. Oh. She also has a long sword. The tech uh, and she was wearing studded leather that's carved the shit up. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm going to. Oh, no, actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Uh, good news, Lucas. All those coffins that you set on fire are burnt to a crisp. Didn't we put the fires out? No, these are different fires. He missed oh, on his flame. Lovely. Yeah, Knackle was behind me, so I, I didn't get him at least. Yeah. Skeletons uh, are probably... <laughs> huge cloud of smoke. Because <clears throat> it's been burning for two rounds. And it smells funky town. Um, I say we wear the cult's robes and we go infiltrate their order. Not really. I, I don't know. Maybe we'll be a tackle loss. <laughs> if... A lot of dust coming down. We gotta Ups get up. Upstairs, the city is getting pounded. Oh, God. <laughs> I turn to Taryn and I say, Alvin had the second piece of the rod. The piece? And I hand her the scroll tube. I, this is the piece. Oh, no. like, oh, can I open it? This was his. I, I yeah. want to make sure I can open it. All right, so open it. Open up the papers. And I like it, it, it's, a, 
it's a paper describing that the rod of catching is somewhere in a tunnel uh, by the under the bay. And no, no actual directions, right? Just heads in a tunnel. Well, how many? I mean, I don't know the city very well. Do any of you? Um, I do know the direction of the bay. It's on the bottom. And I do know that we entered the catacombs from a shop that was close to the bay. So I do know when we came in the entrance, we turned left and then we went down a hall and then turned left again. So based on that, we should go back the way we came probably to start. Oh man. And this city's God, city's being shelled. It's still, I assume it's still being shelled with all the dust and everything. Thing coming down. Jesus, what are we? If there's anything to be done, I mean, I, I mean, I could try to talk to the person in charge of this to get her to stop, but I, I don't. She won't doubt to listen to me. We could kill her. I vowed. Yeah. I vowed I was not going to contact her. And not I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm with Dewey on that. Killing seems to be an option right now. Um, I say we just explore all the catacombs and try and make it in the direction of the bay when we do so. Luckily, we have this rock gnome that will hopefully be better at understanding directions underground. Do we know? Well, I've we never know? lived underground my entire life. Fuck it. Libraries are confusing. You have a good sense of direction. As long as we can follow the numbered system that the library of Natith warned, yeah. Well, we know that wherever we've already explored, there are burnt caskets. So that's going to be our marker. <laughs> well, it has a timber start. comes through the ceiling. Uh, it is charred on one end. They're throwing fire. Are they throwing fire up there? Now the oh, city's probably on fire. I do need to let you guys know that I heard Cagney Lacey's voice. I didn't hear what. We didn't hang around because we were trying to chase after, you know, after the Celtic and Dewey. But the fireball did hit and may have taken out our entrance anyways. I don't care. I want to explore until we find this catacomb or this uh, rod piece. I don't know if it's in. I mean, I don't know if it's in here. We may have to leave and go underwater. Do we have any way of actually dealing with? being underwater yeah but well Holding i mean i breasts. do but the thing is like the notes specifically say a tunnel under the bay these are tunnels near the bay yeah i say explore where we're at first and then explore other options if we don't find it i don't want to waste time talking for half an hour let's go and i start walking marching down the hall just out of curiosity are any of those tunnels headed towards the bay those other two directions uh, give me a survival check. Because that would be the first question on whether or not... Oh, that's good. 16 plus uh, 17. No. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, they don't head in the right direction. Now, maybe they root back or something? You could be... I'm not. I'm not against this plan. It's just that it's getting very... Well, dangerous with everything raining over. <clears throat> and we may not have a choice. We may have to find another way out anyways if the front entrance has been blown up. That's Darn. true. But we did get divine assistance, and they did say that the rod piece was in the catacombs under the city. Uh, Lucas, you've wandered off to the four-way. To your right is where you came in at. You have straight and left, <clears throat> which, according to Taryn, uh, straight might take you that way. Left will take you towards the city center. Uh, straight. You go straight and you come to a dead end with a bunch of uh, ceramic jars and one headstone that says, here lies Will Smith and what's rarish, he was born, bred, and hanged all in the same parish. Hey, Frank. Yeah. One question as we go through because we're going to be going with them as we go th through by that crossroads can we see the entrance no i can't remember how far back it was all right 
I just want to know if I could see like rubble or the, if the opening was closed or whatever. No, you can uh, go to the right and look, but you can't just see it from now, casual observation. Now I want to stick stick together. Uh, this is a dead end, Lucas. <laughs> Do I see anything glow blue with magic? Nope. Okay, cool. I don't think it's been 10 minutes, but I that spell lost 10 minutes. That's fine. <coughs> go back and do the other go the other way yeah that's okay to the left where you haven't been or to the right where you entered <clears throat> uh left, left, well, right. Correct. well when we came in was there any other path that i mean we kind of charged down there so we didn't see if there was any branches you did say there was insects yeah just tiny insects for like funerary urns oh <coughs> got it yeah, but, no, no statues or anything like that. So it's either, These are catacombs. Either to towards the city center or towards the entrance. Yeah, which would you rather go? Well, I mean, we did pass through the entrance kind of quickly, but I'd rather just go towards the city center, thinking that maybe there's going to be a, a route that loops back eventually. I mean, it, it's worth exploring. I wonder if that heads back to the uh, Temple of Vicus, actually. Uh, maybe, but let's go explore. Fuck it. I'm not yeah. in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> you are in a rush because more dust is falling. Whatever the hell is going up on upstairs is bad. Uh, as you go down this tunnel, you reach a larger squared off room, uh, with rubble in it. Everybody give me an investigation check. Um, I don't think this is a bad plan, by the way. If we can get any closer to the, or, or further away even would be good when we exit. If then we won't, shell, we won't be, be hit by, we'll have a lesser chance of being hit by rocks and fire or whatever the hell's being thrown. Investigation 16. checks, 16. <laughs> yeah, I was just waiting for Taryn to stop. Sorry, 19. 19. Dewey? Uh, I'm going to put myself at disadvantage for the Avalon Knackle thing, at least till we get out of there. So I'm a natural one. Aaron, you notice the pile of rubble, uh, seems to correlate with the colors of the temple of Icus. The large pile seems to get thrust up through the ceiling. Uh, and judging from the who for and where to's, you believe you are in the basement of the temple of Icus. From here, you can continue towards the city center. You can go left and back. You can go right and back. Oh, so there are loopback paths. There are loopback paths, paths, one to the left, one to the right. Well, while we're here, uh, among the rubble, do I see that one dead Icus <clears throat> priest that they were talking about where Manise found the hand? There's a lot of rubble here. All oh. right, I'm not going to waste time looking. Would you like to Jenga this? No, 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 no. No, no, no. We're going to go. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can loop back left or loop back right. I don't care. Left. Uh, you go left. Uh, you go about three blocks and to the left, to the right, straight ahead. Coffins, jars, uh, boxes, blah, 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 blah. The tunnel dead ends and the great, the headstone says, here lies Butch, we planted him raw. He was quick on the trigger, but slow on the draw. <laughs> Did uh, anything glow in blue? Okay. No, no, but if you open, do you want to open the casket? Do you? I don't. I mean, I there, there's nothing magical in the casket, so correct. I'm, I, I mean, don't. maybe there's other notes. <laughs> oh, maybe there's more notes. I'm gonna open the casket. Uh, it is the skeletal remains of somebody. Uh, there is still a broken shaft in the chest, and down at his feet is a old, very old, and broken hand crossbow. Okay. Pa so apparently, he was quick on the trigger, but slow on the draw of the crossbow. Nope. Don't care. Uh, there are, are no. Papers. Do the Hamilton song thingy. 
I don't know Hamilton. Oh, they do the dual thing. It's like, oh, 10, and the floor spins around. Like, oh, yeah, this is what you should do in a dual one. I don't know. It was very exciting. I enjoyed the floor spinning around. Yeah, that was. Otherwise, it was shit. Wow. Uh, The floor here is also suffering damage. A lot of dust falling. Uh, A lot of impact noises from up top. Uh, What do you want to do? Head back and go the other way? Yeah. Far enough away from the coast to where it's lesser. (laughs) You guys are within three blocks of the coast. You're right in the middle of fucking ground zero. God damn it. Uh, You go back to the Temple of Icus. You uh, drop back right. Uh, You go... One block, uh, and there is a tunnel down to the right, uh, or you can continue kind of, <laughs> kind of at an angle. Is the angle which one is more towards the bay? The uh, offshoot to the right, uh, with Terran's survival check, seems to be headed right for the docks. Yeah, let's do that one. Uh, you go. Uh, one block and it hangs a hard right. Uh, again, caskets, coffins, etc., etc. Um, you go one block, two block, three block, four blocks under uh, the water. Are we under the water now? Because survival oh, check three blocks from the bay. All right, survival uh, check or under the water. Uh, that's a 19 because it's plus four wisdom. Yeah, you were headed towards the dock and then made the hard right. Uh, so you are running parallel with the dock at this point. You come to a large opening similar to the Temple of Icus. Uh, there is a lot of rubble and at least two right arms sticking out of the rubble. They wear embroidered robes. I will take religion check. Religion check. Two. I'll make one. Wait, is that wisdom? All right, four. It's intelligence. No, it's intelligence. <laughs> I only made it. I made a thirteen. Yep. Nobody knows who they are. Uh, it appears as though this was once an entrance into the catacombs. It is chocked full, and everybody, give me a dex check. Oh. Yay, I'm good with that. Oh, Jesus Christ. So they did say all the entrances were uh, closed off. That's only an 11. 15. Uh, seven. Six. <laughs> oh, <Wow>. my God. <laughs> wow. I'm three agile of, like a cat. Three of you take damage to the tune of five hit points as uh, rocks fall, uh, but nobody dies. <laughs> there is no exit from this chamber. What was okay. the... 12. So wait, I'm the one that made it? No, I'm the one that no, made it. Lucas made it. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, I'm going to. So uh, I thought. So was the other path, if we were to continue on instead of taking the right, would have had a head more under the water? Or at least in that direction? When you made the right, it was yeah. taking you straight out to the bay. Yeah. But then it kind of curved to the right. And ran oh. in front of the building or in front of the docks. Oh, so there was Assuming, no path that continued on. Yeah, the, the the path that you were on continued forward. Oh well, then yeah, I want to double back and go that way. That's I want to go towards the water. One block, two block, three block, four block. Uh, you rearrive at the point and you can continue forward. Uh, you guys notice that there is another headstone. Ooh, what does this one say? Reader, if cash thou art in want of any, dig four feet deep, thou will find penny. Oh, there's treasure here, guys. Four feet down? We need to desecrate this uh, grave. Um, I'm cool digging. We're not in a rush or anything. No, not at all. City's so fucking going up in smoke, and you guys are down there digging dirt. God damn it. I, can, I said, I can try to talk to her. If people want me to try to talk to her, I don't know for the work. I don't know her that well. Talk, talk to her. Ooh. You I might just, at least stop the bombardment if she's like, oh, Terran? Yeah. I think it probably get worse. 
<laughs> it might get worse too, but at least it would pause for a little bit. Yeah, it, it'll yeah. probably get worse. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Taryn, where exactly are you? Do you have coordinates? Uh huh. Oh. Uh -huh. GPS okay, so satellite. <laughs> uh, Lucas, you're digging. Maniz, were you helping him dig? Performance checks both yes. of you. Really? Oh, we're actually digging. Let's do this. I said, oh, you, guys, you guys want me to do it while you're digging? I'll actually try to send her a message. I uh, I rolled I rolled a seven, but then I have minus one. Yeah, pl so please don't six. send her a message. She's the enemy. <laughs> My shovel broke. <laughs> <laughs> 15. Uh, <laughs> you, you guys dig down about four feet and you come across a corpse. Yay. Um, anything to loot? No, her name was Penny. <laughs> I assumed that was the case, but now there's a four foot pit behind us. It's a trap in case someone <laughs> follows us. Thanks. Uh, do you want to continue? Uh, <laughs> More dust rumbles and dirt falls fills in the hole. That's right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you want to continue down the path then? Yeah, I guess. Uh, the path seems to be taking you at an angle, but I'll take another survival check. Like a you. slope down? Yeah, it's sloping down. Survival okay. from everybody? Anybody who wants to pay attention. Yeah, I'll take attention. Nat 20 plus four. What? He's got uh, it. I, 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 mine was at 11. Uh, Lucas, you're looking around. Mine was eight, so it's nothing. <laughs> uh, you think that this, this isn't, it, it's kind of skirting the bay. You don't think, you think it's going to, if it continues on this trajectory, it's going to go into the mountains, the cliff outside the walls. Um, so you're saying this is not the way down. It's sloping down and it's kind of heading that direction. Up ahead, you see a crisscross. That's fine. Mountains sound safer than being underneath the city that's being bombarded. I let the rest of the group know what I determined. Lucas is 100% absolutely certain that this is the proper way to go. Uh, no, I let them. I let them know that it's kind of going in the right general direction. But the good news is, it's heading more towards the mountains, which is not being bombarded. So I think uh, we're safer this direction from the city being bombarded. I I think you're right. You move another block, and again, it flip flops left, right, or straight. Um, right would be towards the bay. Yeah, let's go to towards the bay. Uh, you, you notice the further you go, the more it slopes. Uh, yeah. so the dust is getting lessened, even though you're fairly confident you're getting closer to the bay. Uh, there is some moisture present. It's starting to get musty. Uh, as you reach the end, there is another coffin, but it doesn't have a headstone. I obviously opened the coffin. This must be it. Everybody roll initiative. <laughs> roll an initiative. That's 18. Uh, 23. On the fights, at least. That's a 10. 19 at disadvantage. I sleep on 23. As you open up the coffin, uh, you are attacked by a floating octopus like creature. That's. Oh, no. Yeah. Floating. Maniz, I need you up at the front now. <laughs> Stay at the back. <laughs> Mr. Pincushion. All right, so floating octopus creature. That's fine. Um, I'm going to throw fire at it. And uh, cool, 17? Oh, yeah, that hits. Oh, okay. <clears throat> or 12 damage. Magic fire. Uh, next up's the 19. Do we? Uh, we will. Um, try and drag this thing to the ground if possible. Okay. So you're going to grapple it? Yep. I understand it's an octopus thing. And okay. on fire. <laughs> All right. Maybe not on fire. I don't know. Maybe it's burnt. 
disadvantage at a 15. Uh, tie, 15. Yeah, goes to you. Uh, um, but DC 11 versus Khan. DC 11 versus Khan. Uh, 7 plus 7, 14. You are paralyzed. <laughs> 7 plus 7, 14. Oh, I'm sorry. I yeah. thought you meant. Okay. I thought you were doing disadvantage. <laughs> you succeeded. You're only paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's right. You didn't die. We're about you to are run, dead. guys. Run. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, fair enough. 18 Manis. <laughs> I will cast Cure Wounds at level three on myself. <laughs> Why didn't you do that before? Why did you wait until now? Oh my god, god we're in combat. I'd like to cure wounds. <laughs> <laughs> this looks bad. <sighs> to, to be fair, Lucas, he did help you dig and broke his shovel. Uh, next up, seven, 17. Uh, two attacks. There's four of you. Uh, start with Dewey and with the knees. Oh, First attack is a two. That's Lucas. Second attack is a four. That's Maniz. And I argue that since Lucas and I were the ones that actually attacked it, it would go after us before it would go after Maniz hanging in the back. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I don't give a shit. Yeah, uh, Maniz is uh, just welcome, Maniz. Uh, on Dewey. 15 plus 4, 19. That hits. Uh, against Lucas. AC 18. Fuck. 10 plus 4 is 14. Uh, Dewey, I'm going to need another uh, 11 versus Khan, and you're going to take 11 hit points of damage. Piercing, if it matters. It does not at this point. Uh, 25 on the Khan save. Am I paralyzed again? <laughs> yes, you are paralyzed. <laughs> Oh, uh, you do have you to roll uh, too high. Uh, give me an acrobatics or strength uh, to avoid getting grappled. DC 15 is what you need. Uh, flat dexter, or is it a saving throw or check? Check. Check. <laughs> okay. And can I add athletics or acrobatics to that? Like I e would either one. Do? Yeah. 19. Okay. You are not grappled. Uh, finally, Taryn. Uh, I think I'm going to pull up. My crossbow again. Uh, and I'm going to fire at it. Uh, yeah, that's not so great. But let's see. Go to actions. Uh, that's a lots of 16. Oh, yeah, that hits. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, that's nice. Uh, 12 points of damage. Another 12 points of damage. Got it. Top of the order. 23, Lucas. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, oh, shit, wait a minute. I want to give uh, cop bonus action, give Kyle a point, uh, d inspiration die. Okay, Lucas, you're up. <laughs> is Do we being grappled at the moment? He no. is not. Okay, good. I'm going to throw a fire. I mean, I was going to do it no matter what. Uh, but modified 20 to hit. Yep, that is. All right. And uh, 12 fire damage. A lot of 12s. Uh, Dewey, you're up with inspiration. All right. Let's your rage. Your inspiration. Rage and reckless. What? Did you roll one? You rolled another 20 again. I'm I rolled you. another 20 again. Yeah! I didn't need to inspire you. Jeez. <laughs> I shit you not. Did you yeah. just two twenties? That's two twenties. I believe. No, I believe you. Why would you <laughs> lie about your rolls? Okay. Shit, that's a lot of dice. Uh, uh how, well, yeah, you're gonna have to roll. You'll probably kill it though. I hope so. Okay. 10, 16, Dad. 18. Okay. <laughs> yes. I got half the dice. <laughs> yeah. 20, 26 would be more than enough. That'd be 62 damage. Uh, it is dead. The black octopus thing is dead. 
Uh, you want me to roll that constitution since I hacked at it? Or is it no, more of a grabbing thing? It's a grabbing thing. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, no, you're fine with that. Uh, everybody, investigation. Are we investigating this casket? The region. I, okay. I rolled uh, a big old three. Ooh, 15. Net one. Nice. 10. <laughs> Taryn? 15. Uh, Taryn finds a headstone. Lucas finds a damaged uh, musical instrument inside the casket. Taryn, as you lift the headstone, it says, on the 22nd of wing, Jonathan Fiddle went out of tune. I'm going to guess it's a fiddle he finds. That's well, parts. <laughs> I, I cast mending on it. Uh, you're missing some pieces. Oh. Uh, then I, I cast fire and burn the rest up. I'm like, fuck it. Fair enough. Uh, again, you are starting to get low enough or the trajectory of the projectiles are not hitting this region. Uh, this dead ends. Okay. So maybe we need to go back, continue on straight, and then maybe there'll be another right path later on. There's a left. If you want to go that way. Back. That's well, away from the, the water. The main, correct. I don't want to do that yet. That's my last. <laughs> Path fair, that I'll explore. Fair enough. Uh, as you move forward down the way, I don't want to do that. Uh, as you move forward down the way, uh, there is another trail right and back. It would appear as though it's headed right for the water, or you can continue forward. Ooh, the right for the water sounds good. Sure. I like that. Everybody goes down there? Yeah. I hope people follow me. <laughs> what was the exact phrasing on the note from Alvin? As in, it was saying a tunnel from the bay or from? Under the bay. Tunnel under, under the bay. Okay. Right. Under uh, the sea. Uh, <laughs> uh, there are two caskets at the end, but only one headstone. Ooh. I... Uh, caskets are short. What does it say? Uh, Owen Moore gone away. Owen more than he could pay. Oh, uh, we they killed him because of his bar tab. Kind of sounds that way. <laughs> that sounds good. <coughs> um, I open the casket on the left. Okay. Anybody else? I'll open the casket on the right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We do it one at <laughs> a time in case it's an enemy. But all right, <laughs> both at the same time. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Ah. Uh, Lucas, you seem to find leg bones in yours. Uh, <laughs> Dewey, you seem to find upper torso, uh, but no skull. Uh, that leaves odd Terran, even my knees. As a flaming skull comes and gets you. Two, uh, an attack of uh, surprise. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Son of a bitch. Uh, these things attack three times again. So let me re-roll two more. So first one is on my knees. <coughs> Nine is Terran. Eight is my knees. So my knees is taking two hits, uh, including the last one. So first one on my knees. 17 plus seven, 24 on Terran. 12 plus 7 is 19. And yep. Minis, 8 plus 7 is 15. So the tail so misses one hit. you. Uh, slashing tentacle damage is 4d8 plus 4. <clears throat> <laughs> Are you that down again? He's I about so. to be. 4d8 is possible. Although I have been rolling like shit, I miss. Yeah, it, it, it all comes down to his rolls, really. He, yeah, he can. He could probably get me down with that, but it's gonna have to be max, pretty much. Add four. Four d eight plus four. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, twenty six damage total. Woohoo! I'm not dead. Uh, everybody roll okay. initiative. So that's to everybody then. That's to me too. Twenty six. Yep. So is that another one of these flying octopus thingies? Kind of like oh, a boss, boss flying one. 
Oh. I rolled a one for initiative. Six. Five for die. initiative. Nine. Am I top of the order? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Top of your order. Seven. I'm at seven, you know, so because Lois goes first. We all know that, right? Yeah, oh, then sure. I go first. That's what we know. Uh, <laughs> The way I think. You know what? I'm I'm floating in because I'm gonna say my tentacles can reach. So uh, I'm just gonna insert myself in the middle of you fuckers and see what happens. So first attack four Maniz, three Taryn, two Lucas. So Lucas gets the tail. Woo! Uh, you know what? I I will not use the big red die this time. I'll use my green and white. Uh, so on my knees, Nat one. I'm gonna be going down if he hits me. Nine plus seven is sixteen on Taryn. Give me uh, give me exactly. And thirteen? Thirteen plus seven dirty twenty on Lucas. Oh that hits. Uh forty-eight on Taryn. <laughs> yeah, this is why I don't like being in the front of the party. And I guess I need to declare it more that I am back. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. He's in the enemy's within range of all of us. Regardless. No, I, uh, I, I want to be like 10 feet back behind the party, so I'm not in her. 15 on Taryn. Oh, I'm still up. And Lucas, five plus four is nine. Oh, nine damage? That's, That's it. Uh okay. Nine. Lucas, you're up. <laughs> uh this thing looks it. exactly like the other thing, only much larger and way scarier. Do I have enough space to turn into a bear? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, these are still wide corridors. Okay, well then and you and uh, Dewey are at one end and Taryn and Maniz are at the other. All right, well then I'm using my bonus action to turn into my bear form and then my attack is doo -doo -doo. i'm gonna use my claw attack okay. and that was a 24 to hit 18 is what you need okay so that's 2d6 plus 8 uh 16 magic slashing fair enough uh, seven. Taryn is up next. I disengage and go back 30 feet. Uh, five is up next. Do we oh, now? It's in get like, do we still has advantage? Yeah, uh, still has an inspiration die, right? Because I don't think All it's right. been 10 minutes. Um, yeah. I'm gonna give a do another point of inspiration to Luke. <laughs> the bonus okay. Do we, you're up recklessly. Uh, I'm gonna use that die to make that a hit um uh, 12 plus nope that's a miss and 20 on the second one and 25 on the third so that is eight and five 13 okay and three on top of that. Got it. Mm -hmm. uh, next up is the natural one. Maniz, I rolled a one trying to hit you. You have advantage to hit me. Oh, nice. All right. Let's do... <coughs> uh, let's make this count. Uh, it would probably be a very good idea to put this fucking thing down. I will go guiding bolt, so at advantage. Uh, advantage will be nineteen to hit. That hits. Okay. Twenty three radiant. Oh yeah, what's the stupid ass? Uh, bad news. Top of the order. Two, Lucas. One, Dewey. Oh, so any attacks made against this target has advantage. Okay. Wait. Until, until the end. 
of my next turn. Gotcha. Four uh, Manis. So Lucas, or I'm sorry, Dewey. Uh, 16 plus seven. That'll hit. Barely. Lucas, <laughs> uh, eight plus seven, 15. That hits. Manis, four plus seven, 11. Uh, only Dewey gets hit. No, I got hit as well because yeah. I turned in my cave bear form. So I basically oh, okay. That's right. And you were number two. So this is the same for you. Six, eight, six, six, 18 plus eight is 26 plus four is 30 damage to you two. Woo. Luckily I have my bear hit points, but I'm still hurting. <laughs> uh, nine, Lucas, your chance to uh, pay back. All right, I have advantage. So let's do this and <laughs> modify twenty. I was and hoping for a one. I I thought it was, but it the other one was not. Uh, five plus eight, thirteen magic slashing. Sixty-eight. Uh, seven. Taryn. How bad does this thing look? <laughs> It's hurt. And you have advantage on your attack. But you're 30 <laughs> feet back, so it's hard to say. Well, you know, I don't need, I can be 30 feet back and cast my magic missile at fourth level. I'm trying to fuck this thing up. I believe that is six missiles. Uh, so that is four, seven. That's too many friggin' ones. Let's see. Jesus Christ. That was a terrible roll. I think Frank's uh, issues are catching here. 10, 11, friggin' 12 plus 6 is 18 points of damage. <coughs> As I pew, 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 pew. Do a. Uh, we will go into the final rage of the day and reckless attack. Uh, go. Uh, Two nineteens, and with your final rage, <laughs> with my final rage, yeah. Uh, Sixteen does not hit, correct? Correct. Okay, so that is just going to be <coughs> seven plus eight, fifteen. A mix of radiant in there as well, if it matters. Uh, no, doesn't matter. Okay, so fifteen. Fifteen. Ah, uh, da, 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 da. one. Manise, you're up. I will. Uh, let's do Guiding Bolt again. That's an advantage. So that'll be like 23 to hit. Fifteen radiant. So close. Oh. So close. My turn. Damn it. Three, Taryn. I'm thirty feet away, so unless it can get thirty feet to me, or is it missling me? No, you know what? I'll roll a d six. Uh, five, my knees. Five, my knees. Oh, come on. Two. Uh, Please. Dewey. <laughs> <laughs> right, All dice rolls. Minis. <laughs> so, Minis. You're not going to get me back in the fight. 16 plus 7, 23. Yeah, that hits. Minis. Uh, 3 plus 7 is 10. Uh, Dewey. 17 plus 7 is 24. Barely misses. Nice. <laughs> Just <laughs> missed. <laughs> uh, good night, Manise. Uh, 23. Yep, that's, that's not uh, too bad. Not good. Uh, piercing damage, correct? Uh, uh, slashing. Not, uh, same difference. Is this also doing that constitution thing when it hits like the other one or no? It is not. Okay. Uh, Dewey takes 11 slashing. For what it's worth. Yeah. Uh, end of round. 
Nine. Uh, Lucas. Woo! All right. No advantage this time, but 23 to hit. So nine plus eight, 17. Down Not it goes. Nice. It's down. Um, it's quivering tentacles indicate that it is not completely dead, but it's only mostly dead. Um, but there was no loot down here, no other tunnels. This wasn't the place to go. Uh, this dead ends, but you could have continued forward. This one, right. this one led right to the bay. Uh, give me a survival check, I'll, and if you get it, I'll tell you how close. Oh, you're. I can't give the survival check. That's twenty. You are correct. Is Manisa unconscious? Oh yes. yeah. Oh. <laughs> All this? Just everybody's uh, going on. I'm there. Uh, <laughs> I continue on. <laughs> I'll come up to him now that I won't get my ass beat. I've got five hit points, by the way. Um, I'll do a second level cure wounds on the knees. This is okay. exactly <laughs> how I wanted it to work out. So, Plug in and wait a minute. that's the wrong guy. So that is nine, five, 14. Back. Lucas, you feel the wall behind where this shit stain was. Uh, it is very wet. You. Did I get to heal myself? Uh, you surmise that you are right at the dock. Oh, so maybe I need to continue down the straight path and there will be another branch off to the right, maybe under the water. That might be a safe bet. Cool. That's what oh. I'm doing. I'm sure you guys will catch up. Uh, I've got five freaking hit points, so I have to... I'll there. use uh, my channel Divinity Preserve Life. Uh, so I get to split 40 HP with mm. those that are within 30 feet. I will definitely... Um, <laughs> I'm already 30 feet beyond. Don't and worry. You're, you're still in bear form, aren't you? Yeah, I don't care about those hit points. I barely got hit. My actual elven form is only down nine hit points. I think the two of us, uh, yeah, I said, I know I'm really hurt, and I'm pretty sure Dewey, Dewey is. Do you need, you need help? You're Your mic's muted. <laughs> You're down 22. 20. No, I need 22 to get half. Oh, God. Uh, well, I can do. <laughs> can try to take a short rest and burn some hit dice. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> mind you, this is a barbarian half. I'm going to have 60 hit points as yeah. soon as you give those to me. Yeah, no. So, <laughs> 40 divided among the three of us. That's the pain in the butt about that I'll, class. I'll take 10 and you guys can split 30, 15 each. Okay. That helps a lot. Lucas, okay. uh, you travel about five six blocks it kind of jogs right kind of towards the bay again but not quite uh and you come to a shimmering wall and there is a statue right in the middle the shimmer covers the entire tunnel uh, the statue is that of a very peaceful woman a woman uh serene um but you cannot go any further, uh, which is an excellent stopping point, as a matter of okay. fact. Uh, so let's move to final thoughts. Uh, Chris. Uh, it was good. I almost died twice. So, you know, there's that. You got knocked down tonight. It you was good. I got down. Hit. Put your I got hit. up again. I got hit <laughs> twice today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Carol, what'd you think? That was great. I although I said, Dan, I got to do something because I cannot be. I can't be in melee. I do not have the armor class or the hit points to take blows like that. I've got to somehow. And, Welcome and, and, to Frank's I, campaign. I feel like it's on me because I need to make it clear that I'm not going to be at the front of the party. In fact, I'm going to try to stay like 10 feet back from uh, the front line. Oh, that, uh, that, damn that, bush. that that last thing would have kicked the fuck out of you because it just would have annihilated I, you. I told you I had five hit points and I'm like, well, I can't stand here and take damage from it. I, I'll friggin' drop. And the thing of it is, that's the reason, one of the reasons why I brought in a bard that 
that's got some healing abilities was to back up our healer in case he dropped. You know, that does, you know, it happens. So that's why I was like, disengage and get the fuck out of Dodge so you can't hit me and get back there and let them beat up on him. Lucas. Ernest, final thoughts. Um, yeah, I'm really glad we found that note with Alvin about where to go, or otherwise I think we would have spent like the next two months exploring these catacombs. Well, you, you think you would have. The catacombs would have found a way to shrink themselves. So yeah. I just hope we would have been on the right side of the ca- the collapse. Odds are no. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, Kyle, final thoughts. Ah, Alvin's dead. I didn't want to believe it, but he is. So sorry. I'm very uh, sad, personally. I'm smiling, but I'm sad on the inside. <laughs> I don't deal with trauma well. Uh, my final thoughts are, you guys are way lucky I rolled like shit early on, because you guys would be in deep shit. Uh, folks. You mean my knees would have. He's the only one been, yeah. that's been targeted. Yeah, He's in Terran. I, I would have taken two. I would have taken two yeah. out. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the campaign edition. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our stuff and support us. It's down there. If you want to join us on Discord, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want a seat, we got a couple seats coming up this week. M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail. Let us know. Hit us up. Uh, we will try and get you worked in. Uh, big shout out to Pirate Dog Dice, uh, which posed me until I brought out Big Red. Uh, and for oddfishgames.com for following us and supporting us as a sponsor. Uh, oddfishgames.com. It has some nice recipes in it. It's got good recipes, and they got stinky stuff, and they got plushies for your kids. Uh, look, check them out, oddfishgames.com. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, let's give a big wave and get the hell out of Yaddle's Catacombs. Why, Alvin? Why? Why?